Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Ample Node. So we'll be giving you a beginner tutorial on how to use it. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to visit the official website for Ample Node, which is going to be amplenode.com. But before we start actually using AmpleNode here, we first have to learn more about AmpleNode. So AmpleNode is a note-taking platform or application where in this case, you could basically store your notes on the cloud. So meaning you could access this anywhere. So maybe on your PC or your mobile device or your tablet, well, you could access AmpleNode on those devices as long as you have the internet connection. Now, in this case, we first have to learn more how do we actually or what are the things that we can do here. So first is jots. So jots are going to be a daily activities or a quick notes that you actually take. So for example, you just want to add a note regarding a specific thing that you saw. You can basically add that as a jot. Now, notes in this case is going to be a longer form of ideas. So in this case, you have links images or even uh different descriptions of the specific notes so meaning there's going to be uh, going to be specified refined details so in this case these are a lot longer than dots so if you want to fully describe what is your idea you could use notes now we also have task here now task is a way for you to keep track what you need to do daily or what are your weekly goals or your personal goals so we also have the calendar here which in this case you could actually add different ideas like for example a task if you want to set that on a specific calendar you could go ahead and do that as well now in this case there's going to be a lot of information here how to use it as you can see it actually features a way for you to export your notes from different platforms so if you're if you're familiar with notion with evernote with Rome, Obsidian, and a lot more, well, you could actually export your notes from those platforms into Ample Note, making it a great way for you to change up a little things here if you want to change a your note-taking app. Now, in this case, we first have to see their plans. Now, the great thing about Ample Note here is it's actually free as long as it's for only for personal use. So you could basically uh, access the following uh, features here like notes, tasks, calendars, lightning fast mobile apps, and a lot more. But with any other platform, if you want to use their premium, which includes Pro, Unlimited, Founder, and a lot more, well, you can access additional features based on the plan that you will be getting. But in this case, since we only want to try using Ample Note here for free, you can go ahead and click on personal here. Now in this case, just click on sign up for personal and you should be able to see the next UI where in this case, you just need to enter an email and password to create your account. Now also, if you want to continue or sign up with your Google account, you could also do that. So in this case, I'm going to sign up with Google and choose my account here. And once we've done that, we could go ahead and basically uh, start the process. In this case, uh, your subscription was successfully set up and welcome aboard. So in this case, we are now using Ample Node here. Now in this case, you could basically download Ample Note on your mobile tablet if you want to, or if you want to if you use the desktop progressive web app if you want to do that as well. But in this case, we want to view our notes. So we'll be using the web browser here. Now in this case, let's just click on view notes here to view our notes, and you should be able to see this UI here. Now, again, what like what I told you before, Jots is a way for you to basically get or enter some very specific or so quick notes that you want to remember like for example for january 24th we have the following notes here it's going to be added into the chart section so yeah so if you want to do that you could go ahead so yeah if you want to uh, basically uh, view other section here like for example you want to go to notes well in this case these are going to be the notes that you will be able to see here so in this case if you want to add a new note here just click on new note at the top right here and you should be able to add a new note now in this case you could go ahead and add your note here so for example i'm going to say there's going to be a test note here and we could go ahead and start uh, whatever we want here. But for example, I'm gonna say, hello, this is a new note. 
Now from here, you could basically edit this one. Like for example, if you want to make it bold, you could go ahead and click on the bold here or make it italic or cross or strike through and the option here for highlight H1, header one, two and three. Now you could also add a bulleted list here if you want to. And if you want to add a checkbox or task list, you could go ahead and do that as well. So if you click on it, you should be able to see a check on it. It's going to be automatically removed. Now if you want to return that, just click on the checkbox again at the very bottom and you should be able to see it again. Now from here, you should be able to see insert table uh, tab here if you want to. So if you want to insert a new tab here or a new table here, you could go ahead and click on it. So maybe I want to say there's going to be test one and from here, just click on tab here to add a new uh, row here or column. So let's just say test two. And if you want to add a new row, just press on enter as you can see right now. So test three and tab again to add a test four section here. Now from here, we have other options. Like for example, if you want to add a link for that specific uh, specific section here. Now, for example, we want to highlight the new notes section here, click on the link section and you should be able to enter the link that you want to basically lead to. Like for example, maybe we want to enter a link here. So let's just type in google.com here and just click on done. And as you can see, whenever we actually access this one, we should be able to go to google.com whenever we press on it. Now, in this case, we have the attachments here. If you want to attach PDFs, if you want to add images or videos, or even add coats or black coats. Now, in this case, maybe we want to make this a code. So if you click on it, this is going to be the code format. Now, we also have the option here for literal text. We also have the option here for code block. If you want to add your own personal code here, if you want to undo and redo what you just recently did. Now, in this case, we have the other options here as well. So for jotes, uh, you could go ahead and add this one. So there's going to be a lot here. So as you can see at the very bottom, you have January 22nd, January 21st, uh, January 20, and a lot more. So also, as you can see next to it, you have the section for daily jots. So in this case, these are going to be hashtags that you could actually add. So maybe I want to say, uh, I want to edit this one. And from here, we want to view the full note here to view this one. And you could basically add or edit the jots here. So if you want to add a new uh, a tag here, or if you want to remove tags or edit the tag here, or add the shortcuts and all more. But in this case, let's just go back into the jots here. And as you can see, this is where we add, actually added our jots here. Now we also have the task section, which in this case, uh, like what we saw before, you could actually edit this one, like make it bold, italic, strike through, and even add highlights if you want. Like for example, we want to uh, basically add a new one. So you go ahead and click on the top three uh, at the top right here. You have group task by the task score, show task score, show hidden task, a lot more. So maybe we want to basically click on a new note here and it should give you a new note option here. So let's just go ahead and add a new task here. So in this case, you could go ahead and enter whatever here and click on the task list here. So maybe I want to say this is going to be a sample task. And when we actually go back into the task section here, it should appear at the very bottom here, as you can see, sample test. So whenever we actually complete this one, it should automatically complete. So when we go back into our task here or our notes here, as you can see, the sample task has been completed. So in this case, you could also go to the calendar here. So for example, if you want to add specifics here, you could go ahead and do that. And from here, you have the following uh, task here. So maybe if you want to uh, use this one or expand this one or choose a date, like for example, you want it a deadline tomorrow, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, so in this case, uh, you could go ahead and edit your calendar here. Now we also have the graph here if you want to use that, but currently I think this is only available for uh, people that actually has the upgraded plan here or upgraded account. But in this case, uh, you have to use the jots, notes, tasks, and the task list here. Like what I said before, there's going to be tags here. So for example, we want to go to notes here, and maybe I want to add a note for a test note here. Just click on add tag. And maybe I want to say there's going to be something about food. So we could go ahead and do that and press on enter. 
to add a tag so when we go to the right section here you should be able to see the food tag here so whenever you click on it it should make it appear or make it uh look like appear on this section here as you can see food is going to be in the test note here as you can see we will we'll be able to edit that if you want to because adding tags here is a great way for you to organize the ideas that you have for your notes so make it a, a collective uh, thing that you'll be able to see in the tag section but yeah so those are the basics on how to use a, on how to use ample here and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video